what is up guys welcome to my channel experiences junkie my name is Shravan and I am in Edmonton the capital city of Alberta and in this video I'm gonna show you the old historic neighborhood of old Strathcona and the White Avenue stay tuned No visit to Old Strathcona is complete without visiting Old Strathcona Farmer's Market. It is one of the Edmonton's longest running markets and has been operated since the year 1983. Unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to get in because it is only open on Saturdays from 8 a.m. until 3 p.m. But there's no better place to pick up fresh produce, local food and handmade crafts. So after taking a short stroll, I stumbled upon Cat Cafe on White Avenue. It is Alberta's first and Edmonton's only cat cafe. They have a lot of specialty drinks and uh, most of them are named with cute cat references. They partner with Safe Team Rescue to house homeless cats. All cats who live and play at the cafe are adoptable as well. This is a great spot for cat lovers to find cat merchandise as well. So Edmonton has one of the best hockey teams in Canada and if you want to watch the game at a bar then head down to MKT, the market. There are a great range of food options and drinks to choose from. This place generally has a great vibe so don't be surprised if it gets packed on the weekends especially in the evenings. As I continued walking, I stopped by at Antique Mall. You find a ton of unique collectibles. This is Western Canada's largest antique mall, featuring two floors and more than 100 sellers of antiques, collectibles and unique retro wares. Go in there with plenty of time in hand because I'm sure you're gonna find something with all different price ranges. I spent more than two hours there. There's a lot of variety lot of different items to look at. You found antique furniture, crockery, toys, vinaldis, etc. So there are plenty of options. I'm sure you would find something that interests you. So I just got out of the antique store, got a couple of things for my friends as souvenirs. After all this walking, I started to get really hungry. I was actually craving for a pizza. So I stopped by at Ripe Tomato Pizza. For the price you pay, it's great value for money. I have ordered myself a margarita and it was quite mouth-watering. So like always, after eating a meal, I started to crave for a dessert. 
So I looked around on Google and I found sugared and spiced. So their famous cheesecake is white chocolate raspberry cheesecake. So I went down there and I asked for it and it was sadly sold out obviously because of the demand. Apparently it's one of the best spots to buy cake in Edmonton. Their signature cake consists of three round layers of delicious cake stacked with made from scratch Italian buttercream. Since the cheesecake I wanted to choose was unavailable, I went with Nanaimo Bar. It is a dessert that requires no baking and is named after the Canadian city of Nanaimo in British Columbia. It consists of three layers, a wafer, nut and coconut crumb base, custard icing in the middle and a layer of chocolate ganache on the top. Old Strathcona is home to most murals within walking distance from each other. Take a photo with some of the most city's Instagrammable walls and murals. In the description for your convenience, I will share the link for the mural map. In this neighborhood, you will see a ton of locally owned shops for fashion wear. Since it was a Mother's Day weekend that time, so I decided to check out Bamboo. It is a shop for the ladies and I wanted to get my stylish moms something cool and fashionable. So finally for dinner, I stopped by at El Cortes. It has 4.1 stars on Google with over 2,300 reviews at the time of making this video. It is a funky, stylish Mexican bistro and there's even a basement lounge with DJs playing music on the weekends. I have ordered chicken tacos and it definitely hit the spot. So finally to end my day, I wanted to have an ice cream. So I went to Made by Marcus. It's one of the most popular ice cream chains in whole of Canada. As I went there, I already saw a big line and I went and I stood there. And within few minutes, there was even more a bigger line right behind me. And I tried Marcona Almond Chocolate Ganesh. I thought it's one of the best ice creams I have ever tried. So I highly recommend you guys to try this place. It's because it's definitely something that you don't want to miss. To end the night, I went to Tavern on White for a karaoke night. This place is mostly famous for metal music, but I decided to join the party. So I'm heading back to my Airbnb right now. I thought uh, the old historic neighborhood was really pretty. Actually, it's the most walkable part of Edmonton. Having said that, I hope you enjoyed watching the video and I'm gonna catch you on the next one. Peace.